seat tube is first. And note that the seat tube is already bored out so that the seat post insert fits in with a nice clean fit. And this section here is rounded or selected for a 35 millimeter front derailleur clamp. And that's where this goes here. So we'll get hook that up there, line that up. I'm going to rotate this to where I like it. And I think I like it about there, but I have to make sure my 83 millimeter block will fit there because that is very important for a proper front derailleur performance. So if I turn it the wrong way, it, it jacks up a little bit. So I'm going to keep it, keep it nice and then I can decide do I want it this way or that way. I think I want it this way. Have that curve with the same curve as the tire. So I've got this on my 54 line. I'm going to bring it next to there. I'm going to mark about where the, the edge of my miter is going to be, somewhere right in there. And I'm also going to mark the axis of the bottom bracket right here, like this. Okay, let's set up this mitering fixture. Set up like that on your bench vise. I like to put it in pretty tight. Mm. And then it'll go in better. I need to get my hole saw and put the bamboo in there. Here's the bamboo and there's my line that I made. Okay, so here's the adapter for the hole saw. Actually, it's easier to put it on the hole saw first. Just spin it on there. The hand tight is enough. It'll get tight as it goes. And we're just going to line this up the way we had it on the table. Here's that mark. I'm going to run this right up to here, right against my mark. And then here's the line. The line is right here. Just to check if this is square, just put this up here. And that looks good. Just tighten it up a little bit here. There. Let's go. And because bamboo is never perfectly round or straight, there's some flexibility here, which allows us to adjust it as needed. I'm going to use a cordless drill on this one, but you can also use the, the hand crank technique. There's a hole here, and you can put this on, and it actually spins rather well. Um, we did a lot of bikes like that in the Congo. But since we're here in the United States, we'll just use a very commonly available 18 volt cordless drill. So in the right direction here, and I like to hold it with one hand while I miter it. Okay, let's see how that looks. That looks about right. I like to trim off these little hairs here to make it so I can see how well the miter is done. Perfect. Let's see, I want it this way. 